Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're going to take a look at this unique small rodent trap that used to be made in Germany. Now it's different than any trap I've seen before, and that's because it's specifically designed to catch a small rodent called a vole. If you don't know what a vole is, it's similar to a mouse, but it has a shorter tail. They typically live outside. They vary in size depending on species, but in my area, they can be the same size as a mouse to over double the size. And they can do quite a bit of damage. This year is especially bad. The population is huge. They dig holes every few feet in my yard. They eat circles of grass, so I definitely want to start trapping them. The way this trap works is you stick the bottom piece of metal down in the ground and it sits upright. Now originally this had a hood that provided some extra shelter, gave a little more security to the animal. And there's a bait trigger here. There's an outer circle, an inner circle, and a spring. The way you set it is you pull this inner circle over and it hooks into place. You put the bait right there, right in their tunnel. The animal will come along the tunnel, grab the bait, and when they move it just a little bit, it closes right on their head. So I'm going to take this outside in my garden, show you a vole tunnel where they're doing damage. We're going to set it up with motion cameras and see if we can get a vole. I'm out here in my garden. Here's some onions I planted last year. And at the base of the onions is a hole. This is a burrow where the voles are living. They've been feeding like crazy. You can see all this grass they've been chewing. So I'm going to put my trap right here. They're going to come out, grab that bait, and get caught. Let's see how it works. Our German vole trap worked. I was able to get a pretty large vole down there. Now originally I set up the trap right by the entrance to the burrow, but I found the animals were running in and out so fast trying to avoid predators, they didn't stop to look at the bait. So I moved the trap to a feeding area with more grass and I was able to catch a vole. Now I found the spring on this trap's not very powerful. It works more as a choking style trap than an instant kill trap, but it did work. I had to be really selective in the footage that I show. If you want to see the full footage of the trap in action, you have to check out my website. Now I'm posting between four and five rodent trap videos a week. So if you want to see how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.